Hey everybody, what's up? Dr. Nick here with another public sexual announcement for you on May the 18th, 2022. And this PSA will be slightly longer than some of the others. Why? Because this is a continuation of my interview with Miss Amy. And in this PSA, she talks about swallowing semen. And if you heard the first part of my interview with her, you already know She's a hoot, she's very lively, she's funny, and once again, she does not hold back at all. So this may be one of those PSAs that you want to share with your friends and partners, and please feel free to do so. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. So my final question is really broad and big, and it's about swallowing. Ah. Swallowing semen. So what are your th general thoughts on swallowing? I'm a swallower. I um, remember this elderly lady telling me, you know, you don't spit, you swallow. And she meant that with everything. You mean the Hershey bar lady? Yes, the Hershey bar lady. Oh, okay. Yes. And apparently, you know, she knew what she was talking about. She had 15 kids. At really? least, at least, just you know, maybe it's like exaggeration, but you didn't swallow that much. Good no, lord, no, she didn't swallow much. You, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord, okay, well, more power, but to her. you know, hey, I mm. I prefer to swallow, mm. I feel like it, you know, don't waste a drop. Yeah, is there a reason why you do it, or you just, just I actually do it? get not to cut across you, but I actually get more sexually excited I guess you're aroused is the better word for that when my partner ejaculates in my mouth mm -hmm. is it the same but then he's dead for a few minutes so I can't do anything mm -hmm. <laughs> right the um is it because from my own knowledge and being in this field for so many years some women some friends of mine actually told me that they they feel different you know, when they swallow, some some guys semen will put them to sleep. Some guys semen will give them energy. You know, where they're, they're just like bouncing off the walls. Mm -hmm. has, has Absolutely. Like, has anything like that ever happened? Okay. Well. Hmm. Well, with my current partner, um, whenever you know we have sex or you know oral sex or you know what we do, what we do. I will go home and mop the ceiling. I will scrub the walls. I will laminate carpet or, you know, whatever. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I get Damn. like a complete energy. I don't know if that's that. The mental thing, you know, mm -hmm. release, releasing whatever's, you know, I'm not that, you know. Oh, yeah. The, the chakra stuff. And all yeah, that, all that all stuff, that, you know. Like, but you know, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. This man, good Lord, let me tell you. He, I will go home and start scrubbing the walls. It's, um, I have so much energy, it's unbelievable. Hmm. Have and, you ever had the opposite effect? Yes, yes, I have. Where, like, you, you do it, you swallow it, and... And just, I'm like, okay, I'm a baby, let me go to sleep now. Leave me alone. Hmm. So, you actually, so, you believe that you, that, that you take, take in the energy... I am taking the energy from that man. Hmm. Or he, look, let me... For lack of better words, he is giving me his energy. Hmm. And memory serves. Uh, that was the belief of certain cultures way back in the day. I mean, that's just me nerding out for a hot second. That's but, okay. Nerd yeah. out. I like mm -hmm. it. When you were swallowing or giving a blowjob um, and the time came, you know, time was due, did, did you ever have like any funny experiences with, like, with giving blowjobs or swallowing or anything like that? Funny ones, yes, absolutely. I have had a guy. I I, I was going at it. And this was actually my husband. Um, he has passed, so you know, I'm going at it, and I'm wasn't as educated on oral sex as I am now, or experienced, I should say. Mm -hmm. I he came, didn't let me know it was coming. I didn't know it was coming. Just you know, I was doing my thing. And it shot me in my eye and went up my nose, and I started choking. Oh. <laughs> so I literally choked on a dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. Any um, not-so-good experiences? 
not so good. Did yeah, I had one partner that his semen just it was awful. It was chunky and oh tasted gross and I'm like, yeah, I just I might have to spit that one out. And I did. Do, do you know his background enough to tell and he was yeah, absolutely. I would I don't just, you know, I'm not a one date and run type girl or you know, I don't do that. Um he was a, a severe alcoholic. Okay. You know, um, mm-hmm. smoked, did a lot of drugs. Oh, so yeah. I, I didn't know that at the time. Mm-hmm. That's why he's an ex-partner. Yeah, right. Okay, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if... The, the chunky semen, you, you got to watch what you eat. You yeah. know? Smoking and um, alcohol, drinking alcohol and smoking are the, are the worst two, and they will definitely change the flavor of your semen. Yes. That's mm-hmm. why, um, because the, the thing out there now is that, like vegetarians, pineapples. <laughs> pine, well, yeah, pineapples, <laughs> yeah, pineapples will, um, change the, pineapples and cinnamon will actually, and mint, will actually help to change the flavor or lighten the flavor of your semen. And if you hydrate enough, it will dilute that salty thing that's always mm-hmm. there. But vegans and vegetarians, they're, kind of known for having the best tasting or most neutral tasting semen out there. And add, to add to that, they produce more semen. Yeah, not everybody shoots the same loads, dear. Okay. I mean, no, I don't. I, I'm a, well, no, I, you I, don't know. I, 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 I wouldn't know. I'm just, you know. Us ladies, no. <laughs> When you're giving a blowjob to your partner, do you like to for him to tell you that that he's coming, or do you like the surprise? I actually like both, but he my my current partner he he lets me know he's a gentleman. He lets me know. Okay. You know. Mm-hmm. Is there um, do you have a preference for either or? Meaning. I mean, like. Oh, for him to tell me or not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I know when he's gonna come. No, okay. I make sure. <laughs> okay. And my final question is um, for you is, um, do you like to be? <laughs> I know. I was like, stop sneezing. Um, do you like to? Sounds like a dog barking. Mm-hmm. Let me. Let's say I lost my thought again. Oh, hold on a second. Do I like to be in control of it? Yeah. Do you like to be in control while you're giving a blowjob versus, or do you like to let him? "Quote unquote," like use your mouth or, or 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 fuck your throat. A light fucking of the throat is nice, but don't sit there and take my head and jam my damn head down your dick. That's just we don't like that. Pay attention, guys. We we don't like that. See in the in the movies. In the yeah, in the movies you see that. See, uh-huh. In real life, you know, some of us women just don't care for it. Mm-hmm. You know, let us do our thing. You know, you can tell us, you know, which way you want us to do, how you want it done. We'll do it. But you know, I don't mind my partner gently showing me how he likes it. And see, I'm new with my new, this is new with me and my new partner. You know, we haven't been together that long, so we're both still learning each other. But he has a way of letting me know what he likes. You got to pay attention. Pay attention. A few months ago, I put out that meme about the girl, I'm like putting her hair in in a ponytail. Uh, So if he, so if your partner kind of guides you with, with the ponytail, is is that too much, or is that okay, or or like you don't like that at all, or or what? <laughs> well, <clears throat> pulling my ponytail while hit me from the back is a whole different story. But we're not on that conversation. We are on blowjobs. My partner will, you know how some women you you when you pull your hair back in a ponytail, you fixing to go to work. <laughs> You fixing to get it in. So most men know that. And the ones that don't, I'm sorry. Be prepared. Um, You're about to get the works. So my guy, he's he's so sweet. You know, he'll hold my hair out my face. He has on occasion 
lightly guided my head to what he liked. Okay. And I don't mind. That was okay with you? Yeah, because it was like, it was a learning process, you know? It was new. I didn't know what he liked. And they're like, aha, okay, all right, we got this. But he's not the type to, well, he hasn't yet, you know, grabbed a whole fistful of hair, blah, you know, tried to knock my tonsils out or my molars. Or do the Cardi B thing. Right. Hit that dangly <laughs> thing. Yeah. He does, though. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there you have part two of my interview with Miss Amy, where we really went deep in talking about swallowing semen. And as I mentioned earlier, she did not hold back at all. She was very honest and open about everything. And I really do appreciate and thank her for taking her time out of her day to coming over here to Pookie and them studios and doing the interview with me. And when I asked her, why did she do it? She says she actually gets aroused by giving blowjobs. And then one of the most interesting things she happened to say was about the exchange of energy. And she compared various partners because she said her newest partner gives, gives her healthy energy where she's just up bouncing off the walls trying to do everything and in contrast to some of her other partners who after she swallows she goes to sleep and I've heard that from other women too and then after that she really went into talking about the flavor of men's cum and how good it can be and how nasty it can be and let me tell you right now men who eat red meat or eat a lot of red meat drink a lot smoke and even drink a lot of coffee, they are well known for having the worst tasting semen out there. In contrast to vegans and the vegetarians who are probably very hydrated and they drink a lot of fruit, fruit juices and things like that, fruit juices and teas. And so their semen flavor or taste is fairly neutral. And if you add cinnamon or mint to your drinks, you'll get the essence of cinnamon or essence of, of mint. Not like it's a mint candy or anything like that, but it's more of a neutral flavor or neutral taste in contrast to guys who are eating the red meat and the, and the dairy and things like that. And even if they're dehydrated, that will even concentrate that negative flavor. And it's pretty nasty from what I've been told. And finally, the most important thing she had to say was about communication. And for her, it was about how her partner likes to communicate his desires while getting a blowjob. So as she said, he, he may take her head and move it this way or that way, but nothing is forced to the point where she can make adjustments and give him more pleasure. And since that turns her on anyway, she's more likely to do it. So that's just food for thought. Please stay tuned for part three coming up in my next full podcast next week. So on that note, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Stay tuned, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.